Hey everyone, welcome to Comics with Bueller. As always, I'm Bueller. Today is episode 40 of Coffee, Comics, and Comments. This is where I drink some awesome coffee, I show you some great books, and I read some of your comments you guys left on my previous videos. We got a lot of stuff to cover today. We got a lot of great books that were sent to me from members in the community. I'm looking forward to sharing those with you guys. And I got some information I want to share with you, but it's pretty interesting, and it might actually save you guys some money down the road. I haven't finalized everything yet, but I'll tease you a little bit. And once I do finalize everything, it should be pretty cool. But as always, we start off with the coffee that we're drinking today. And this coffee is brought to you by Mocha Express, located in Milwaukee and Portland, Oregon. If you're local, please check them out. If not, you come into town, let me know, and the coffee's on me. So I get my beans from them, and I dry them all up, and I make my own coffee sometimes, because I can't always make it down to the shop. So I do it here in-house. The beans that they use are Green Mountain Roast Organic Beans. They're pretty good. They are local. So let's go ahead and take a sip. And I'll tell you what I think. I like it. It is black coffee. It is very strong. And I kind of need strong coffee today. There is one thing I don't like. It is cold. I've been trying to film this video now for a couple hours. Things haven't been going right. And I'm hoping this time around it is. But if you're drinking some good coffee this morning, please let me know. If you're having black coffee, that's great. If you're having something different that I've never heard of, Please put a comment down below and I want to know what it is and I'll ask my coffee shop if they can make it and I'll give it a shot. Now that we got some coffee in this, let's go ahead and look at the books that we're adding to the giveaway for the month of April. And the one we have right here is one of them, which is Secret Invasion number one. This is the variant second printing. And then we have this one right here, which is Dance number one. I've never heard of it, but what I did find out is that is an art germ cover. And I don't know if it's one of his earlier art germ covers, but I thought it was kind of neat. And then we have the Guardians of the Galaxy. This is the free comic book day edition that came out a while ago. I thought that was kind of nice. And of course, free comic book day is right around the corner. And then this one right here is pretty cool. And I'm excited to add this one to it. This is the Shadow number one. So that's going to be added to the giveaway. And this book is going to make its way back around here later in the show. But how you enter the giveaway is you just leave a comment down below in this video and you are entered and at the end of the month I tally them all up and then we do the raffle and we see who wins and then after we see that we start another contest and we have a bunch more books to give away. Right now for this month we got about 20 books that were given away for the grand prize so please enter today just leave a comment like I said you can put something down there about the coffee you're drinking or you can say whatever you want it works for me. So let's go ahead and jump into some of the comments that we got for this episode. And these comments are from last week's coffee episode. So the first one is from Michael Gomez. He says, ha ha, I love your reaction to the Faithless book. That is one crazy book. Keep up the great work. You are truly appreciated by the community. Okay, so last week I got that copy of Faithless. So if you're not familiar with Faithless, it's got a uh, cover on it that's like, uh, it's bagged and it's it's got a little a blockage thing going on because the cover is not exactly kid friendly and it was a little caught off guard. Um, I said I was going to read the book and I didn't. I don't know if I will. Maybe down the road when I'm really busy and feeling kind of lonely. <laughs> Maybe I'll give that one a shot. Uh, but I do have it in my collection. And thank you so much for uh, saying I'm truly appreciated by the community. I really enjoy the community and everything, so thank you very much, Michael. The next one is from Mr. Roboto Comics. He says, I just ordered a batch of those Silver Age Max Light 2s. Thanks for the heads up, Bueller, and 10% off. Um, yeah, so the Max Light 2s, the uh, Silver Age bags, those are available at maxprosupplies.com. That's my sponsor. Um, you can just go to their website. The link's down below. All your comic book supply needs, buy whatever you want. When you go to check out, enter the code Bueller and you save 10%. So we'll just use that to get right into the other thing I was kind of teasing. Um, how would you like to be receiving up to 20% off your new comics? Um, that is in the works. I'm working with a uh, company here pretty soon and you'll be able to get all your comics for pretty much 20% off all the new comics that come out every week. And uh, I'll give you more information uh, in the weeks to come and it's pretty cool I'm pretty excited 
And uh, I don't know, new comics for 20% off cover price. And uh, you know, nothing better than that, right? Okay, let's go ahead and get back to some books. I'll set these down. We're gonna go ahead and jump into some of the books that were sent to me from people in the community. And these ones were sent to me from Steve and Spock. And Steve has a great sense of humor. And he knows I love shiny books, so he sent me a bunch of shiny books. And I hope you guys can see this goodness. I don't even know what issues these are. I can just tell you the title. That's a Lady Death book right there. Look at that gold, wonderful gold. And if gold wasn't good enough, we got some silver Lady Death. Look at that. Just awesome. Awesome, shiny goodness. And we got some, uh, I don't even know what this one is, but it says Liefeld. It's image. It's number one. And it's got some shiny ladies on there. And who doesn't like a shiny lady? <laughs> uh, Divine Right. I think this is number one by Jim Lee. Look at this. He sent me just tons of shiny books. And they're just fantastic. And, you know, it just made my day, to say the least. We have Wildcats, number 25. I call this the bumper comic because it just looks like a chrome bumper. <laughs> And uh, it's very cool. I like that one. Hopefully I don't drop any of these. We got Purgatory. And I don't know what this one is, but it looks kind of, it's kind of risky, guys. I'll tell you ahead of time. But it's a neat looking cover. And it's got a lady on there that's hardly wearing any clothes. And this kind of goes with comic books, so I'm okay with that. And then last one is Sabretooth. And I don't know what issue this is, but let me set these down so they don't fall. And then I'll put the Sabretooth one up there. And you guys can stare at that for a little while. But that's a neat looking book. Nice, shiny, goodness going on. And like I said, these were all sent to me from Steven Spock. He sent me some other books as well. And they're over there on my table. So thank you so much for all those books. And uh, they're awesome, man. The shinier, the better. And you came through like a champ. So I appreciate it. Let me have some more of my cold coffee. It's just great. Let's go ahead and get to some of the comments we got here. And this next one is from Bob Johnson. And Bob Johnson says, cool video and cool books as always, Mr. B. Have you bought the facsimile edition of Hulk 181 one step closer to your grail in the way? Congrats on the 5K, keep rocking. Um, so Bob, yep, I did buy that book. I bought two copies of that book. And uh, I read it and it's so cool to have. I might even buy a couple more. Um, my local shop still has some in stock. I just think it's kind of cool. I like to do like a background with those books and stuff like that. And thanks for the congrats on the 5K subscribers. We hit that a couple weeks ago. Um, I am supposed to be starting a contest. I was going to put the video out this past weekend, but I ordered some books for the giveaway and they didn't show up yet. So I'm waiting for those books and I want to be able to show you guys a bunch of the prizes. So I don't know exactly what day those will show up. But as soon as they show up, I'll make the video and then we'll start the giveaway for the 5K subscribers. And it's going to be a lot of fun. I actually told a couple of people what the contest was and they got a big kick out of it. So I'm looking forward to sharing that with you guys probably here in the next few days. And then it'll probably last like a month or so. And I really hope all you guys take the time to uh, participate because you'll have a chance to win a bunch of stuff and it should be just a lot of fun. Okay. So the next comment is from Brad Massey Million. Uh, he lives in Canada. He said, you should do a video on why people give you thumbs down. <laughs> I'm curious to see or read if those people will comment just a thought. Um, so Brad, I, you know, I get thumbs down all the time and uh, it doesn't phase me one bit. And uh, you know, honestly, I, and I've told this to other people, if I don't get my thumbs downs, I tend to worry about those people and hope they're doing okay. Um, Cause simply to take the time to watch my videos and I want to say thank you to them, whether they give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, it's all good to me and I appreciate your time. Now I want to talk about the thumbs ups and man, did you guys come through on the thumb ups for my videos, my top 10 list and my uh, new release list. So I had a challenge for everybody. And if I got 200 thumbs up, I would buy myself a filet of fish sandwich. And needless to say, you guys came through. I got more than 200 thumbs up. So I got 300 thumbs up on one video. And I had to buy myself a filet of fish sandwich. Unfortunately, 
McDonald's has discontinued the promotion that they had for the $2.50 on Friday filet of fish That is no longer a thing. And now they are full price, and I don't like paying full price for anything, really. So I'm going to hold off on the filet of fish for a while. But there is a new thing that's on sale that's one of my favorites and probably one of yours, which is a chalupa. And the chalupa box is back at Taco Bell. So on the videos for Tuesday and Wednesday, we are going to raise the bar. That's my top 10 video and also my new release video. You guys smash the 200 like buttons. We're going to go for 350 likes for each one of those videos. If for some reason I can get 350 likes on each one, I'm going to buy a Chalupa box both times. And I'll eat two Chalupa boxes. Trust me, I can do it. I'm a big guy. It's not a problem. But I appreciate everybody taking the time and giving me a thumbs up. And I love the comments that you guys left on those videos. And I'll probably use those comments down the road in more of the coffee videos. But thank you. And I'm looking forward to seeing if we can get that 350 thumbs ups on those videos. All right, enough about that. Let's go ahead and get to some more comic books. We'll set this one down. We have these books right here, which were sent to me from another person in the community, Mark, which he's actually located in the Pacific Northwest as well. He sent me Batman number 496. Very cool cover with Joker on it. And we have Batman the Drowned number one. Another shiny cover. Man, you guys know exactly what I like. And like I was saying, here is Shadow number two. No, that's number three. It's all right, number three. And then he sent me a copy of Shadow number one. So I already had this book. And so that's why I'm going to take my copy and put that in the giveaway. And now I get to hold on to this copy for myself. And it means a little bit more because it was sent to me from someone in the community. It also gave me Venom number one, the variant edition which is pretty cool to say the least because I had uh, Venom number one and it was autographed by Donny Cates and I gave that away in a giveaway and so I didn't have number one and now another copy of number one found its way back to me so thank you very much I really appreciate it Mark you came through I'm looking forward to possibly meeting you sometime there's a comic con up in Washington in June and who knows, maybe we can hook up and go hunt for some books. That's not the only thing he gave me. He also gave me this Batman Year One hardcover. And this is awesome because I have not read this full story. I have like most of the issues for the Year One storyline. But now I have it all in a hardcover. And I'm looking forward to reading this probably pretty soon. And this is really cool. So thank you for this. I think it's awesome. Very nice for you to send this great stuff. He sent me some other books as well, and those are also sitting there on the table. And thank you again, Mark. Very cool. Let's get back to our last comment. But before we do, it's even colder than it was. Come on. Um, this next one is from Chauncey Sharon Jr. It says, hell yeah, 5K subs. Hey, brother, do you have a Twitter or Instagram that help with your fan base? I got the new Symbiote Spider-Man comic. It's pretty awesome. Keep up the great work. God bless and your family. Um, Chauncey, I do have a Twitter. I, I seriously don't know how it works. I've looked at it and uh, I try to post things on there and I think I've posted stuff on there, but I don't know how it works. But I, I have learned how to use Instagram. So I do have an Instagram. It's at Comics with Bueller. I post some things on there uh, every now and then. And I have a lot of fun with that. Because my kids showed me how to do it. So that's cool. Uh, that new Symbiote Spider-Man. I got that book as well. I haven't read it yet. I think I got one of the variants. I mean there was a ton of them. Uh, but the copy I got I was pretty happy with. But uh, I'm looking forward to reading that book. Um, it looks like you read it. Uh, if you can do me a favor. Let me know what you thought. And okay let's go ahead and get back to the last batch of books. And this is one I found. This is Teen Titans number one special edition. I believe this is the first appearance of Lobo's daughter or cameo or something like that. And then I got this one, Avengers No Surrender number 684. That's that great one with the Hulk thing. Apparently this is a big key book right now that's selling for quite a bit. And uh, if you'd like to know how much I got it for, 
Uh, I paid 43 cents for that book just this past weekend. So that book is going to be going into uh, the next round of Bueller boxes. Because why not? <laughs> I paid less than 50 cents for it. I guess it's selling for like $50 or maybe more. And it's going to be in the Bueller boxes this coming weekend. Um, I did get this one right here, which is die number one. This is the fifth printing. Um, I heard so many good things about this book. I had to pick it up. I'm going to read it. And I found this one, which is the Silencer 15. This is the first appearance of Smoke. And kind of cool. I find that for cover price. And I found this one as well. Avengers No Road Home number five, which is the first appearance of Conan, I guess, with the Avengers or something like that in the Marvel Universe. So that was cover price. So very excited to pick that up. And I haven't read any of the No uh, Surrender series or No Road Home series. And I've heard it's really good. But let me set those down and I'll show you the last book I got today, which is the Punisher number one of the limited series. I was so happy to get this book. I only paid like $10 for it. It's in great shape. I've had this book in my collection before and I don't know what happened to him. But now it's back. It's a newsstand. And, uh, you know, I just did the video on the Punisher series and stuff, or the complete history of the Punisher. And now this book finds its way back in my collection as well. So I couldn't be more happy. And uh, it was a good weekend for hunting books. I literally went to like five or six different places and found a ton of books, a ton of great stuff for the Bueller boxes, and a couple books for myself as well. Okay, so that's all the books that I have to show you today. I read all the comments also. Don't forget to enter the contest. Just leave a comment down below when you're entered. Don't forget to also go to maxprosupplies.com for all your comic book supply needs. And we got a lot of videos coming out this week. I hope you really enjoy them. And uh, let's go ahead and try to get some thumbs up on this video and even some thumbs downs. Because if I don't get any of my thumbs downs, I'm going to worry about you guys. And uh, I hope you guys are okay. Uh, but that's all I got for you guys. Uh, it was a fun weekend, Easter holiday weekend. Like I said, I've been up late trying to do this video, but it's all good. I am basically for sure going to go to bed now uh, because it's late. And uh, I hope you guys have a good week. And thank you so much, everybody. I really appreciate everything. And uh, you know what? If you're watching this video and if you haven't left a comment before, please do. And because uh, I know, you know, a thousand people or 1500 people normally watch this video. And if you've never said hello, uh, please take the time to say hello. And uh, I'd really appreciate it because I appreciate everybody who takes the time to watch and I'd love to hear from you guys. All right, that's all I got. Don't, don't work too hard this week. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe. You guys know what to do. I'll see you next time.